Hello, and welcome to the Movie Measure video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be discussing how to do a trailer check using the Movie Measure app. In order to do trailer audits with Movie Measure, you will need to download the Movie Measure app from either the App Store or the Google Marketplace for Android. After you type Movie Measure in your search field, you may see multiple results. So to avoid any confusion, the app icon that you are looking for should look like this. Once you've downloaded and opened the app, it will ask you for permissions to send notifications and access GPS locations while in use. You need to enable these while doing your audits in order for the app to work properly. Log into the app with the same email and password you used to create your profile on your contractor porthole. Once you've logged in, you will see your assigned theater and number of expected tasks. For more information on how to confirm your expected tasks, see our video on Confirming Show Times and Task Counts. Tap Start Now and you will be taken to the screen where you can check into your theater. You should only check in once you are at the theater to ensure the app records your correct GPS location. After you've checked in, the app will ask you if you have a partner. For those of you who have helpers, answering this question can be a bit tricky, so let's take a moment to clarify when you should answer yes or no. You should answer yes to this question when you need someone to help you because the feature at your assigned theater is on multiple screens and the show times overlap. Selecting yes lets the app create the extra assignment for your helper. Remember, your helper will also need to download the app and you will need to give them your email and password to log in but they will always select no when prompted with this question. And while it's obvious to select no when you're alone, there are specific situations where you may have a partner helping you, but you still need to select no to this question. You would select no if you're using a partner to help you because you have two locations to audit and you will be at location A while your helper is at location B. You would also answer no if you have two different features to audit at the same location and you are checking feature A while your partner checks feature B. In both of these situations, the app does not need to create an extra assignment. You just need to provide your partner with your email and password. Also, remember your partner will never answer yes when prompted with this question, and all payments will still go to you. Once you've checked in and confirmed your partner count, you will be given the opportunity to upload the theater's door schedule. A door schedule is typically a theater's in-house listing of the various features, screen numbers, and show times posted for your location. It's a handy tool to use for mapping out your tasks, so it's good to ask management if they will let you have a copy or take a picture of one. However, it's important to note that they are not required to do this, so if they decline, it's okay. If provided a door schedule, select Yes, and the app will let you take a photo to upload to us. The next tab is for the manager's name and signature. You must check in with the theater management or guest services when you arrive at your location. You will need to get the manager on duty's name and enter it in the space provided. Once given, sign the form and press Done. If the manager on duty is not available, you can complete this later, but the app will not let you submit your data without completing this step. Now you are ready to add your first screen to audit. Once selected, you will notice at the top of your screen that the app wants you to select a screen format. You will see a list of all the show times the app captured for this format, and you will have the option to select one to begin your audit. It's important to note that some of these show times will be on the same screen, and you only want to check one show time per screen format. Refer to our How to Confirm Show Times and Screen Counts for more information on this topic. In this example, we are going to select the first show time listed. Select the trailer check show time displayed below to begin the audit. You will notice that the app has now displayed a new set of menu tabs you will go through. The first is the connectivity check. Because theater's connectivity and complimentary Wi-Fi services are not always reliable, the app will test to see if it can communicate with our servers. If connectivity fails, you will still be able to do your check. However, the app's listening function will not work and you'll be entering your data manually. In this example, you can see our connectivity is successful. Now it's time for the auditorium check-in. Here you will select the actual auditorium number you are checking for your show time. For this example, we will be using auditorium number 3. Next, you will enter the seating capacity for your auditorium. This can be found on the theater door schedule and is usually posted somewhere near the theater's entrance. You can also ask a theater staff member if needed. You can see that the format has been pre-filled based on what the app has collected. However, if you need to change this, 
You can by simply selecting the correct format for your showtime. The app will ask you to confirm this change. Select OK and you will be taken back to the previous screen. Because we know that standard 2D is the correct format, we will change this back. Once finished, select Done. Now you're ready to start recording trailer. Because our connectivity is good, the app is going to use its listening technology to self-identify the trailers as they play. It's important to follow the instruction listed on this page to ensure that the app functions properly. You should also close any social media, streaming, and video apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Hulu that may interfere with the app's ability to access your microphone. After confirming that you've read the reminders, your app will be ready to start listening. Tap the Start Listening icon and your device will change to listening mode. At the bottom of your screen, you can see the dog trailer playing. As the trailer plays, the app will try to identify it. Come on, man. You know how many times I've been in and out of this gate with that? Excuse me? What's the odds on my To buy the vehicle, sir? As well, you can see, it may take a moment for the app to access what trailer is playing. But once it does, you can select Confirm and you'll be taken to the next screen where you can enter this information while this trailer finishes playing. Here, you will enter information specific to the trailer on the screen. This particular trailer was in 2D. We'll say the audience is having a positive reaction to it. You will also guesstimate how many people are in the auditorium by using a percentage scale. If needed, you can add additional comments such as the trailer had no audio or it cut off halfway through. After filling out this section, select Done and the app will be ready to start listening again. Let's tap the icon and watch another clip. As you can see, the app has correctly identified the Batman trailer. At this point, you can select Confirm and continue the process over again. In our next example, you will see what happens if the app does not correctly identify a trailer. Let's watch on screen. Food Fighters, you gotta get me a record. It's our 10th album. We gotta break the mold on this one. Let's out. Here, the app has selected the Batman again but the trailer is actually Studio 666. In this case, you would enter the type of trailer name in the search box or scroll the pre-populated list of trailers and select it. Once selected, the app will take you to the screen where you would enter the rest of the trailer information. In our final example, you will see how the app performs when it cannot recognize the trailer playing at all. When this happens, the app will display this screen. You can either select from the pre-populated list or have the app listen again. In this example, we will press Select from List. But suppose the trailer does not appear in the pre-populated list either. In this case, you would select I still don't see the trailer and add it now. The app will take you to a screen where you can type in the name of the trailer. As you type, if the trailer name is in our database, it will appear. However, if nothing appears after you finish typing, just select the Add It Now button and you will be taken back to the screen where you can finish entering the trailer data. The app will continue to return to listening mode until you select that all the trailers for this auditorium have ended. Once confirmed, you will be ready to enter your audience measurements. If the auditorium was empty, you can indicate that here. Otherwise, you will notate the observed demographics of the audience, such as estimated age ranges, gender percentages, and overall attendance at the start of the movie. You will also observe and record the ethnicities of the audience. Finally, you will indicate the percentage of the teens, adult groups, and families with children that were in the audience. After you have finished, select Done and you will be taken to the sound and video check. Because you will be staying in the theater until the feature begins, you will also indicate if the start of the feature had clear audio and video. Remember, you will not stay to watch the feature, but you will want to wait until the first few moments of its beginning to answer this question and to ensure that you saw all the possible trailers and special promotions that may have played. You can also enter any additional comments here if needed. Once done, you will be taken to your final review screen. Here you can review and edit any entries that you may need. As you can see, we have the auditorium check-in and the audience measurement section, the sound and video section, and the actual trailers that were entered during the trail mix. Here's the dog, Batman, and Studio 666 entries, as well as a few other trailers that the app has auto-matched and finally, our entry of Fonda, A Love Story. Let's say we realize that our manual entry is actually a trailer on our list called Jockey. 
Select Edit to be taken to a screen where you can either type the trailer name or select it from a list of titles provided. Once your final review is finished, you are ready to complete the task. The app will ask you if you are available to perform a recheck. Rechecks are sometimes requested by the client for various reasons. You are not required to do these, but if you opt to, you will be compensated for it. Since the app has an estimated three tasks for this theater, you will be prompted to continue and the app will return to the Select Screen Format window where you can select the next showtime for your location. Suppose the theater has added a showtime that you cannot find on your list. In this situation, you would add the showtime manually by selecting Add Showtime. Use the scroll wheel to choose the correct time and then press Done. You should now see the new task and start time in your app. Once you enter the start time, you will start the auditorium check-in process all over again. Once you have audited all the screen formats for your assigned theater, you will be ready to complete the assignment. The app will need you to confirm that you have finished all the expected tasks. Once you confirm, the data will begin to transfer to our servers. Here's what a completed assignment will look like for your app. Notice the assignment is in pending review. You may be contacted by a movie measure representative if we have questions or need clarification on one of your audits. Please be available to answer any questions we may have via email, phone, or text. You can find more video tutorials on our website and YouTube channel, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.